JavaScript events always come up in the discussion. JavaScript event is the most important concept in JavaScript. Event-driven programming serves the user with the quickest and most accurate responses, and this usually translates into better user experience and business gains. Also, the whole focus of software development or web development is on the actual people using the app and their actions. So it will produce better and more effective products for the end users. And JavaScript is a powerful event-driven programming language. Hello and welcome. My name is Mariam from Data is Good. And today we are going to learn about the events of JavaScript and how we can handle them. But before we begin our video, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done that already. And hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest videos coming from Data is Good's YouTube channel. Now let us see the agenda of this video. At first, we will see what exactly an event is, then the list of the events, then examples of each of the events with explanation. And at the end, there is an assignment for you guys. Our goal is to make you understand the concept of events in JavaScript. At the end of this video, you will get the whole idea of the events. You will be efficient in writing code when it comes to events in JavaScript. And assignments will help you to understand if you got the clear idea of events or not. What is an event? So as discussed in the agenda earlier, let us see what exactly an event is. Events are actions that happen when a user interacts or does something on or with the page, like clicking an element, typing in a field, or loading a page, etc. Now, there are many different types of events that can occur. For example, the user selects a certain element or hovers the cursor over a certain element. The user chooses a key on the keyboard. The user resizes or closes the browser window. A web page finishes loading. A form is submitted. A video is played, paused or finished. An error occurs. So there are a lot of reasons to trigger an event. Syntax of an event is element event equal to some JavaScript. JavaScript has events that provide a dynamic interface to a web page. These events are connected to elements in the document object mode or DOM. The browser notifies the system that something has happened and that it needs to be handled. It gets handled by registering a function called an event handler that listens for a particular type of event. Let us see what an event listener is. Event listeners can be used to declare an event in JavaScript. Listeners are always looking for when the state of an element is changed. And if that element is changed, the code in the listener will be executed. For instance, when you click on a button that is attached to an event listener, the listener will hear that a mouse event has been triggered. Then it will execute the code you have associated with that particular event listener. List of events. Now moving on to the next agenda of our video. There are different types of events in JavaScript that are used to react to events. We can differentiate them as mouse events, keyboard events, form events, etc. Here we will discuss some of the famous or most commonly used events such as on key up, on click, on mouse over, on mouse out, on mouse down, on mouse up, on load, on focus, on blur, on key press. So let us look at these events one by one. This is a keyboard event. We took an input field inside the browser and then assigned the field's name to the variable x. After that, we applied the uppercase method to x. Basically, a function is triggered when the user releases a key in the input field. The function transforms the character to uppercase. VS Code on click event. The on click event generally occurs when the user clicks on an element. It allows the programmer to execute a JavaScript function when an element gets clicked. This event can be used for validating a form, warning, messages, and many more. 
Using JavaScript, this event can be dynamically added to any element. Let us take an example to understand that clearly. See, it's actually that simple. We have created a button in the HTML code called click button. In the JavaScript code, we made a function called dig. In the function, there is an alert message. Hello and welcome to data is good. Then the function is assigned to the on click event. Basically, when we click on the button, then we will see an alert having the welcome message. VS Code on mouse over and on mouse out. These are the interesting kinds of events in JavaScript. Let us take an example and see what they are. Brilliant guys, we did it. In this example, we are taking an image. We are going to trigger two events, on mouse over and on mouse out. We have created two functions, big IMG and normal IMG. After that, we gave two different heights and widths to the same image. The function big image is triggered when the user moves the mouse pointer over the image. The function normal image is triggered when the mouse pointer is moved out of the image. VS Code on mouse down and on mouse up event. These events are triggered by mouse movements. In this code snippet, there is a text having ID myp and two functions called mouse down and mouse up have background colors red and green respectively. Mouse down function is set to mouse down event. Mouse up function is set to mouse up event. The mouse down function is triggered when the mouse button is pressed down over this paragraph and sets the color of the text to red. The mouse up function is triggered when the mouse button is released and sets the color of the text to green. VS Code on load event. All load event gets triggered when the page is loaded. In the my function, we have created an alert message. When the page is loaded, the message gets displayed on the page. VS Code on focus event. This type of event is triggered when we focus on something on the screen. In this example, there is an input field. We are going to change the color of the input field to yellow. So in the function, we change the background to yellow. We set the event on focus to my function. When the input field gets focus, a function is triggered, which changes the background color. So this is how we can use the on focus event. VS Code on blur event. The on blur event occurs when an object loses focus. The on blur event is most often used with form validation code. Example, when the user leaves a form field. This example demonstrates how to assign an on blur event to an input element. Write something in the input field and then click outside the field to lose focus, blur. And you will see an alert on the screen having the message. Exclamation doc type HTML. On key press event triggers when you press any key from the keyboard. This is a keyboard event. Great, so we are getting the correct output. That means we are on the right track. There is an input field and the function which alerts the user about key pressing is set to the on key press event. So whenever you enter something in the input field, there will be an alert message on the screen. Now here is an assignment for you. Solve it and tell us in the comment section below. When you click on a button, there should be an alter message. Welcome to our website. Hint, use on click function. Use on focus event on the button and change the background color of the button. Fill the blanks. Well, on this note, we have reached the end of our video. These are the few events you need to understand. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed today's lecture. And if there are any suggestions, please go ahead and comment them as well. We will try our very best to reply to each of your comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative as well as fun videos like these. Stay tuned and keep practicing. Bye.